we have already learned about how to create a security uh, in our AX using our AOT and we have already created our privilege duties and also we have already created roles and we also have assigned to our user already but let's see how we can create a, uh, create a security through our client side so let's go to our client in AX and let's go to our system administration over here so let's click on system administrator and what we'll do is we'll go to our security over here and we can see our security roles so just click on security roles here you can find all the roles for our x so we have a lot of roles over here you can see and we also have one sales report that one we just created in our last project so we have all of the security roles listed out here so we can also create a new security role over here directly so we can just say create a new security role and let's give a name for we give a aot name of a sales order which means the aot from our over here so from here it should be here so the role is coming the aot means here which we uh, previously created so we create a new AOT name that's that sales order and we say name as just a sales order and we'll we will uh, give some description over here let's say create and view sales order so let's say we want to create a specific role just to create and view sales order so here we just created a uh, so we just created our new security role and let's go and see where is our security role so here is our security role as a sales order so the next thing is that we need to add a, a duty so first we create a security role then we have to add a duty so we can just directly add a duties from here or what we can do is uh, let's uh, let us close this one and let us minimize our AOT and we have a role over here and we can go to security privilege and just click on this one and here in a process cycle uh, let's go to conversion cycle and just click on the plus sign over here and we can see all of the duties that we have we can just create a new duties over here or else what you can also do is just click on the top level of process cycle and create a new duty over just over here directly to this hierarchy also you can can but let's go to a conversion cycle and just add it inside this one and let's say add a new new duty and just keyword name for our aot name so aot name is for it should be here we just created a just sales order so it's already over here and next should be our duty so we need to create a duties so let's go over here and create a duty of jet sales order and okay that should be fine so let's say name as the sales order and you just say create in view sales order that should be fine and the next thing is that after we create a duty the next thing is to add a privilege so privilege we need after we create a duty we need to have a privilege so same thing we have already done in our aot over here so we are just doing it through our, our client side or our ui side so we have over here and the next thing is that we have to add a just right click over here add a new privilege so I'll just click a new privilege over here and let's say we give a AOT name that sales order we just say uh, so give a same name for all of our that sales order already exists or oh, I think it's already exist so I will just say as a that create sales order so we'll say this just 
create sales order and I will just keep a name of create sales order and I will say create and view sales order that should be fine and here we need to add a permission so let's go and add a permission and we'll go to rich client over here a rich client which means that our UI or all of the elements that we can add it from here so all of the module is listed out here we have account payable account receivable all of the module that we have over here is listed out here so we just want for sales and marketing and let's go over here and we have uh, we don't want report setup we don't want to give access we just want a common inside common we just want a sales order and let's go to sales order so we have this all of the menu over here so if you go back to our sales order over here and inside this sales order we see all of the menus the same menus can be seen from here like all sales order all sales order all open sales order so we we want to give access let's say we want to give access to all sales order and just click on the arrow so inside this sales order we still have a lot of permission that we can set we can go through uh, all of them uh, but what we'll do is we'll just give access to all sales order and we'll just say full control so we already have known what is a view only edit created and correction and a view control full control is equals to our delete in our privilege over here so we have already set privilege and in the privilege we have set a permission level of let's say when you go to a node and entry point in the entry point we have a privilege of access level to read and we have a highest privilege of delete so it's the same thing over here that we have so full control means uh, equal to a delete okay so let's add it and so we give a full control over here and just after sales order we if, if you want to give to other access like say we give all sales order and we give us access to like a sales order of journal type or order on hold now we also let's give access to the order hold and full access and let's give access to sales agreement full control and let's give a journal order journal type to view only so that's it's how we said or let's say we said a few permission over here and just click okay now you can see we have a privilege on our create we created a permission for our duty so inside this sales order we have one privilege to create a sales order we and then we added a permission so if you go over here you can see we have a lot of order duty that we can check through one by one and now we have since we have this duty we can go back to our okay let's go back to our system administration and let's go to our security roles and now we can assign this so let's go to our newly created what was ours okay let's go to sales order so we created this one sales order so now we can add a role or other duty over here so let's go and add a duty so we created inside this one and let's go down to our sales order so our one is here and just check on the checkbox over here and when you, if you click the plus sign then you can see our the created sales order permission is over here just click on close and now we have this duty so we have role and we have a duty so role is our sales order and we also have a duty of sales order and you can directly assign a user from here or else you can go to a system administrator and the user then we can add a user over there.
or we can just go and add a user let's close everything from here now and go back to our system administrator let's go to user and all users from here and here we can select our user we can select our demo user then just edit it and here we can remove all of the role that is given to this user like let's say we remove a sales manager sales clock and we remove the sales representative and system user we need and view employee position uh, okay we remove that one and we just assign a new row that we just created and from here we just need a sales order that we just created to just select the sales order create a create and view sales order then just click ok and we have that permission and just close this one now I have logged in as a demo user and we have a demo user so you can see the permission that we give uh, is only a sales and marketing and if you see the sales order that we just gave the permission so all sales order and we only have a few permission and that the custom report that we created so we don't have any other permission if we go to account and receivable so let's see what are the things that you get so sales order same so this is how we can set our custom uh, AX permission using our UI side and we have already created through our AOT and we also have created through our uh, AX client so hope you guys had some basic understanding and if you have any more questions do let me know and I'll see you in the next video till then have a great day